about ready to get under wave to excitement. And the white flag means one more time around. And then the sparks will be flying. The last time we were here, it was defending champion Wayne Burroughs who was able to collect the victory. Can he make it two in a row? He is going to have to wheel his way through some fast traffic in order to make that happen. And the show is about to happen. As they screech their way off the corner, Ian Burrow in car number 42 beats Sylvia into the turn. Sylvia trying to hang with him, but leading by the length of an elephant's trunk is the 42 of Brew. Battle for third and fourth. Cassidy on the outside. A wiggle for Sylvia. And Jacob Perry had to be very careful. He almost wound up sitting in Sylvia's lap. Now on the outside, here comes Ken Cassidy. Moving into second. Three wide into turn number four. Three wide, the man in the middle with Sylvia. He gets squeezed like a grape. And he goes back to about ninth place. And now it's Cassidy and Perry battling for second and third. And here is Perry as he is able to surge his way to the inside of Cassidy. Jacob Perry had three wins last year. Sylvia is being black flag. And he takes the soggy route back to safety. As splashing his way through the infield is Sylvia. And the team blew out in front. Trouble for Gordon. Gordon skids on the front straightaway. Everybody should be able to avoid him. And the yellow comes out for the first time on lap number four. It was some havoc created by the Napa Auto Parts stores in southeastern Connecticut. An RNG seal coating for jumping on board. And we hope you'll support the people who support us. So the stage is set for a double file restart. As the lightning bolts are getting ready to leave the cloud here on lap number four. The jump, Ian Brew. Ian Brew, like beer flowing out of a keg, is able to grab the advantage, but here comes Jacob Perry. Perry is dead even as they blockbuster their way out of turn number four. Perry on the verge of taking over the lead. New leader, lap five, Jacob Perry. So as they mangle their way down the back stretch, Ken Cassidy is getting a challenge from Sean Karen. Karen swaggers his way on the outside. Karen is in third, and he is going after Ian Brew. And we'll see if he can track Ian Brew down. Cassidy sticking his nose in it. Here comes Wayne Burroughs on the outside of Cassidy. And he will firecracker his way around that number 11 car. Second is up for grabs between Drew and Karen. And Sean Karen is there. Car number 52 trying to finish on the podium for the third consecutive week. As they rumble off the corner, here is Burroughs. is able to mesmerize his way into the top three. Now he is looking for inside position against Sean Karen. The drum major of the parade is Jacob Perry, looking for his fourth career speedball victory. But there is a brouhaha in the fight for second and third. Karen has it. Burroughs wants it. Cassidy getting by Ian Burroughs. So Brew has lost some positions. Now the combination of Canfield and Burgoyce are moving up to the front. But leading by an 18-wheeler is Jacob Perry. Here comes the war for second. Karen getting the back 
Bomber Pester by Wayne Burroughs. Cassidy is in fourth. And right now it's a lengthy lead enjoyed by Jacob Perry, one lap away from the halfway mark. DJ Trudeau holding off Nick Papacota deeper in the field. Burroughs almost got underneath Karen. He decided to wait. Now he wanders to the outside. So the speeding bullet is named Wayne Burroughs looking for a way to waltz around Sean Karen. And while Karen and Burroughs battle it for second, lengthening his lead is Jacob Perry. As he is leading by the length of a mountain range. Cassidy in fourth. And he may finish fourth for the third time in a row. Ten laps when they hit the line. And Jacob Perry has a ginormic comfort zone against a combination of Karen and Burroughs. And Karen is proving to be a pretty tough man to pass. Cassidy running third, and then it's Canfield. Will has the number six spot. Burgoyce in seventh, Sherman in eighth. Then in ninth, DJ Trudeau in tenth is a fracas between Papagoda and Gurton. Jacob Perry leading by the length of Long Island Sound. Trying to hit the jackpot. The yellow is out. Turn two. We have a problem in the second corner. And it brings out our second caution flag. And one thing that Perry knows, he can go side by side with Sean Karen and have some confidence. So here they come, rampaging up. Perry does not come up to speed. Now he does. And it is the 11 who has moved into contention, but the yellow comes out to short circuit that. As that will never be in a beauty contest, that restart. That looked like something out of the gong show, didn't it? time it was our starter, Charge de Coster, who had the gong, and he will bring him back. Nine laps to go in what has been an action-packed mini stock feature, our opening act in our seven-feature showcase. Wayne Burroughs has moved up to third, but he cannot figure out a way to get by mad money. Sean Karen. Perhaps this restart will give him that opportunity. As Burroughs on the inside of the second row, surrounded by Ken Cassidy. Then we have Canfield and Brew in the third row. And Dale Sherman is having a great run. The Shermanator is on the outside in row number four. And inside him, making his first start of the season at the bowl, Eric Burgoyes. So we get ready to heat things up. This restart could decide the outcome. As we turn up the voltage. And here comes on the outside, Sean Karen. And Sean Karen trying to razzle-dazzle his way into the lead. Perry holding him off. 
Close to 16, they're way off the corner. Perry by a molecule. Here is Powers in the picture, along with Cassidy. Four cars could fit underneath the sombrero. Jacob Perry trying to stretch out his advantage. Making a bad move on the inside is Bellows as he tries to excavate his way into the lead. Perry is being surrounded, hounded, confounded. Here comes Burroughs, a make or break move on the bottom of Perry. Burroughs has a giddy up. Perry has a lead on the outside. He is leading by a toenail as he go into turn number three. Burroughs applying the pressure as they really build their way off of turn number four. Too close to call. Watch the spin move. Wayne Burroughs is out in front. Burroughs has gone from sixth place into the lead. Perry trying to retaliate on the outside. Karen is third. Cassidy is getting a visit from the outside by Charles Canfield. By a quarter of a star. It is Wayne Burroughs. But all over here like gum on the bottom of his shoe is Jacob Perry. As a glass off turn number four. It is almost even again. Perry has made a resurgence. Hold your breath time. Sticking his nose in is Sean Karen. They are handcuffed together at the front of the field. Burroughs on the bottom. Perry on the top. They launch themselves off the corner. Perry is back in front. The 21 is on the top rim of the ladder. Burroughs, will he have something to say about that? They charge and crank it up into turn number four. to the back bumper is Wayne Burroughs. One more time around. Can Perry hang on? The grab was to the way into the corner. Perry maintaining a skinny lead by a teardrop. Will Burroughs do? A bump to the back bumper. Perry holding him off. And Jacob Perry holds off the chip to win it. Wayne Burroughs in second. In third is Sean Karen. Then it was Karen Cassidy. He is at the penthouse right now. And Sean Karen showing the sportsmanship that exists in this division as both he and Wayne shake the hand of the man who has his fourth career win and his first this season. So finishing in third tonight, car number 52, Sean Karen. And Mad Money counting his money right now, and we will have a word with Sean Karen. Three straight podiums. How are you able to be that consistent week in and week out? You know, I want to thank my crew, Mark Panarelli, for working with Tisha, my girlfriend, my daughter, Kirtland, my parents, my family, Curly Motorsports, GCR, Awesome Motor, Charlie from Red Barn Ray, everybody that helps out. Hey, we're up here again. I'm just all out of tire, man. And I didn't want to wreck Burroughs. I got there with him, but third's good. I'm happy with that. Okay, he got the maximum out of his rubber to finish in the top three. Finishing in second, the two-time champion, Wayne Burroughs. You had the lead late in the race. What happened at the end? Car went around me a little bit. The longer we ran, the looser it got. I actually wanted to be on the outside, not the bottom. So it didn't work out. Um, take nothing away from Jacob. He's a heck of a wheel man. He outdrove me on the outside. Can't do it any better than that. And I know you couldn't do it without help from your supporters. Who would you like to thank? i got to thank my crew, first of all, keeping this thing a rocket ship every week between both tracks. My wife for everything she puts up with. Car owner Ken from Ken's Auto. Larry's Auto Machine for the awesome motor under the hood. 32 signs. She's talking about plumbing and heating. Uh, Curtain Transportation Group. And uh, couldn't do it without any of them. That is a story from our second place finisher, Wayne Burroughs. And now it is time to meet our winner. The rock star from Pocketuck, Connecticut. In car number 21, Jacob Perry. Jacob, how were you able to get by the defending champ? 
Oh, man, Matt, you have no idea. I saw the lead I had, and then that caution came out. And caution's been the story of our season. It was about time we finally got this one. Uh, we had the car to do it every single week, and we just haven't had the luck behind us. This is truly awesome. I can't thank Wayne and everybody enough for racing me with so much respect. It's truly appreciated. I try and show as much respect as I can out here, too. It's truly an honor to be staying here in victory lane. I don't think you had a monkey on your back. I think you had the whole planet of the apes on your back, and you were able to shake them all loose tonight. Uh, how were you able to turn your luck around? Well, I can't thank Norm from APE enough for building this awesome power, as you can see. It handled Wayne on the outside, and that speaks for itself. This car was truly incredible. I can't thank my dad for setting it up as well. Everybody from Perry Motors and everybody. I can't thank Tick Mike and Tick, or, uh, Tick Free Organic Tick Control, Matter of Construction. I cannot thank everybody enough. You guys really put us here on a weekly basis, and it's you guys that we go out here and do our best for. Hopefully we can turn our luck around at Thompson Motorsports Park, and we'll be able to win up there too. Well, he turned his luck around tonight in car number 21. How about one more hand for Jacob Perry?